everyone it's me sherry welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to go over some of my empty products i have them in this box here and i'm going to go in no particular order because i'm just going to reach in and grab them if anybody's wondering what's on my eyes today it is the w7 socialite palette this says it is innocent multi-textured pressed pigment palette so basically, it is a dupe for the new nudes by Huda Beauty. So it looks like this, and this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Because I sometimes get questions about that, so I figured I'd address that right off the bat. Bat? Bat. Okay, <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into my empties. Okay, so the first thing that I have is Kirkland Baby Wipes. I use these for taking swatches off my hands, but I don't have a Costco. I just managed to find this in a random store around here. So I don't think I'll be repurchasing them because I don't have a Costco. Um, the next product that I have is a Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. I like these. These are very hydrating towards my face. I got those in a boxy charm. I have so many other face and eye patches that no time soon will I be repurchasing that. The next thing that I have here is It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Oil Free Primer. This was okay, but... I have so many primers, I don't need any more. These are just little sample packets, as you can tell. The next product I have is more wipes. These are the Evio Skin Aurora Refreshing Cleansing Hemp Wipes. I didn't really like these, I'll be honest. I used them up, but they had like they left like a, a residue behind on my skin. And no, wasn't good with that. I'm trying to use all the little sample packets first. This is an Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I actually used this last night. It was more like liquidy, like a serum. Not really, if that's supposed to be like a moisturizer, maybe it is supposed to be a serum, I don't know, but I didn't use it long enough to know. And I have so many skincare products from like BoxyCharm that I gotta go through them before I can even consider repurchasing anything else. These are just little samples from Sephora. This is the Belief the True Cream Aqua Bomb. It said this is a one use only, so I squirted it all out my hands and I put it on my chest, up my neck, and on my face. This was too, too intense for me. This was too moisturizing. I have oily to combo skin or combo to oily skin. It is getting a little more on the drier side. My skin is all over the place. I think it's medication and age. Because now it can feel a little dry. Like not completely dry. It's more on the normal side I guess is what you could say. But this was just too intense for me. I didn't like that. I, it took a while to absorb into the skin. I'm not into that. The next product that I have is a mini Batiste dry shampoo. I go through these. I don't use dry shampoo as much as I used to. Because my hair is not as oily as it used to be. So I have probably two more of these in here. I have a Dove and I have an IGK dry shampoo, so I don't think I'll be repurchasing dry shampoo anytime soon. I keep getting these from Sample Source. Might as well talk about this since I'm talking about hair care. This is the Coconut Oil and Cocoa Butter Garnier Whole Blends Smoothing Conditioner. I had the shampoo too. These were pretty good. But I have, um, well, I'm using Suave right now in the bathroom, but I have, um, my oh what's it called <sighs> love pa beauty love and planet or love pa planet and beauty the rose shampoo and and conditioner so that's mostly what i've been using recently this is a fresh soy face cleanser all skin types i used this up this was okay it wasn't my favorite but i used it up because i got it in boxy charm this okay well i might as well talk about both of oh well three of these I have some little uh, Sol de Janeiro products. So I have one of the Brazilian Crush sprays. I used that up. I have another small one over there. Probably have to get more because this is like my favorite scent. And then I have another little tiny of the Boom Boom cream that I used up. And I have, I'm using up a 50 or a 75 milliliter one now and I have a 50 milliliter one tucked away so I don't have to repurchase this for a while but when they are gone I will repurchase them because like I said it's my favorite scent and I know a lot of people don't like the Coco Cabana cream but I really like it and I already repurchased a bigger size of this I find it's very coconutty I love it like a lot of people think maybe I got the new formula I don't know but I got this in a set from BoxyCharm so I don't know if this was a new formula or not but a lot of people said it tastes uh, smells like butter popcorn 
I guess I can kind of see that, but I smell coconut. I smell coconut cream pie when this is brand new. So like I said, I already repurchased this. I have more of this, but definitely, and this, but these are definitely repurchases. These will always be in my collection because I love them. Um, what else do we have? Okay, we have some skin care. This makeup. Skin care. Okay. Dry, another dry shampoo. This is from Dry Bar. This didn't last very long, but it was nice. It was okay. I have another little sample packet here. Oh, I'm wearing this today. This is the um, Smashback Photo Finish Primer with vitamins B, C, and E. So, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be luminous. I don't know if my skin is that luminous, but I just wanted to use up. I'm trying to use up all of these little foil packets that I have, so I'm going through them. All right, let's talk about some skincare. I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I like this. This is like a, this is the kind of moisturizer I like. This is like a, a more gel watery type consistency. And this type of formula works best with my skin and it smells like watermelon. So I might consider repurchasing this. But I get, so, like I said, <laughs> I never have to buy skincare because I get so much in BoxyCharm and BoxyLux, so I don't know. We'll see. Then I have the Saturday Skin Water Glacial, Waterfall Glacial Water Cream. You know, this was like um one of these kind of moisturizers too that's like gel and watery, but I didn't like this one as much. I don't know why. I just... I don't know. It was nice. It did. Oh, I know why I didn't like it. It took a long time to absorb in my skin. I don't like anything that takes a long time to absorb in my skin. That's why I didn't like it. The next product that I have is one of my loves. I am going to have to try to purchase the full size of this. Um, yeah, because, well, I have a backup and I haven't been using it right now, but my skin misses it. So I'm going to have to crack open the mini one. This is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA resurfacing night cream love this stuff this was sent to me last summer in boxy charm i there's like a little tiny bit still in there but i can't get it out with the pump it won't come out at all so unfortunately i can't finish this is expensive in sephora in canada it's like 77 dollars but you know what it's worth every penny because this stuff is amazing like my skin I'm starting to get little bumpies over here, like a little, it's not a pimple. I don't think it's a pimple, but it's a little, well, it might be a pimple. It's a little breakout, a little bump. I think it's from my face mask, to be honest with you. Um, but this takes texture away, and it's just, oh my God, I love this. If you guys have a chance to get a sample of this and try it for a little while, I only used it two nights a week. I'd use it on Sunday and Wednesday, but it was amazing. Um, if anybody's used this and you guys think the same thing or maybe it doesn't work for you but it works really well for me and I am going to be repurchasing this when the little sample size is gone that was kind of long-winded eh sorry um this is the Mayu Mayu perfume it's just a little sample so I used that up too and it was okay I'm not really into perfumes a lot I like body sprays better I think but I really like my Ari by Ariana Grande perfume. That's probably my favorite right now. All right, and then I have a few makeup related. Oh, sorry, this is skincare too. Wow, I have a lot of skincare in this one. I have a lot of empties this month. Woo, there's a fluff flying around. All right, this is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment. I really like this, and this lasted a very long time. I only used, like, a little tiny pump, and I spread it over both eyes and orbital bones. And you know what? I think I might repurchase this, but I am getting another eye cream from BoxyCharm. So I tend to get them every few months or so, so that keeps me up, too. I never have to repurchase, but if I really like something, which I did really like this, so maybe I will repurchase this one and just have it for, like, when my other eye creams run out. But it's probably stupid to buy it right now because there probably is, well, there is a shelf life on it, but I guess as long as it's not open, it's fine. 
But anyway, this was really nice. I don't know if it really did anything for like the little lines under my eyes, but it, I found it really hydrating and it absorbed very well. And you guys know I already said that I like it when things absorb well. <sighs> These things are um, kind of, okay, this one is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. This is the Instant Brow, like the you know, a brow gel, like a mascara for your brows. This is drying up, so I gotta toss this, but I did. It was okay, I liked it, but I, I'm happy with my um, Essence Make Me Brow. So I'll probably purchase another one of those because I don't have one right now. And then this is drying up too. It's not doing that. Oh, it does it a little bit, but it's time to, it, the shelf life is gone on this because been open for a while so this is the Tarsh Big Ego mascara I like this this reminds me of the Too Faced better than sex mascara so I would consider repurchasing this but I am working my way through other mascaras I'm actually wearing a new mascara today it, it, it's the uh, what the fake by essence and you know what I don't actually mind it I have heard mixed reviews on it but for my lashes it's actually doing a decent job it's a good everyday mascara but anyway, that is all the empties that I have right now. Now I gotta go recycle all this stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and hit the little bell. I typically upload every Tuesday and Thursday. And if you're not new, if you're just coming back, hi guys. Nice seeing you guys again. Well, you know what I mean. And anyway, I, um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye everyone.